Okay, we we're carrying on with the Kung Hinge training. Last week we did this method on this side, didn't we? Yeah. So that's the first method that we've done. Here comes his punch. Remember, you've got to make contact halfway down his arm. Never wait for the full force to be on you before you make your move. So these sort of techniques are useless. They don't work. Yeah. You've got to make, even if you're going to do that sort of a silly block there like that, you make it here so that you're going to hit him. At least you're close enough to hit him after you've actually blocked his arm. But always make sure that you're going to come halfway, so you move in as he moves in. Never ever do this. Never ever do that. You lose doing that. Doesn't matter how long you've been training in martial arts, 40 or 50 years even. You're going to lose if you step back, even against someone who doesn't know the martial arts. You, you'll lose eventually if you keep stepping back. That's, that's saying to him, Oh shit, sir, please don't hit me. I'm going I'm to move away from you. Please don't hit me. You're making yourself weak. Throw the punch again. This uh, is saying, Piss off! <laughs> Sorry, Rob. I'm not going to let you come anywhere near me. Bugger off, you know? It's like this, throw the punch. Like when people like show people a technique and they go like this, see how I'm looking down? Never ever look down. Because that's saying, throw the punch. I've done the method and I've done everything correct except that I'm in awe of you and I don't want you to hurt me, please, sir. You're looking down. Always, the classics say, look, whew! keep the eyes this level. That's where your eyes are, level with the ground. Now, that way you're saying, you're not so bad. You're not so bad, I've defeated you, even though, even before I've touched you, because I'm saying to you, get out of the way, I, I, I'm better than you at this stuff. So you keep your eyes looking here all the time. Okay, so that's the first method we learned. So we learned, move in, bang, there's your first strike. See what the left hand is? Whenever you do Pung Hinge, you must hit someone, you must hit something. Regardless of what you're doing, you must hit something. And it must happen, with just like you wouldn't do this, for instance. I say, hit someone, so you come here and then go, hey. Do that. That's mm. you're doing two moves there. If you can hit, if you can, if you can touch someone, if you can block someone, even if I just stand here and wait for him to come to me, if I can block his arm, then I can hit him. So if I am standing here doing the wrong thing and letting him punch me, why not bang hurt his arm with a strike? Don't just block it. You see. So if you can, if you can touch someone, you can hurt them. So you never ever block anything. So when he's throwing his punch, hit him, and that's the first strike we make, just above. Just there, just in there, just above the hip bone, just in there. You're going to get kidney points, kidney uh, 25, gallbladder 25, gallbladder 25, which is a kidney point on the side of the body. It puts a shockwave straight through the body that way and down and into the kidneys, damaging the kidneys. It makes a person feel really, really sick, especially if you've taken the arm like this and knocked it this way up, back up the arm. So you're reversing the energy flow and you're striking straight in here into the, kid, into the kidney shoot, into the kidney point, which is a gallbladder point, which is a kidney physical point. So that's the first strike we make. So you're practicing that, you just practice, you might remember, you don't make a, make a thing of moving to the side and doing that, that's a block. Remember, you come straight into him, but if you make contact at the right place, and you've got your C back, you're grounding his energy back to your rear foot, you've got your back hollowed and your chest hollowed rather your back bent then you're not going to be forced backwards and you've already come straight in you don't have to move it's just a slight to the side and see how I've ended up 45 degrees across his body that's how you should always end up when you're striking someone 45 degrees across their body whether it's coming straight in from the front or from the side here that's that's the optimum position to be in can't always be in that position of course and there are other things to do if you're not in that position but that's the optimum position so the next thing we learn is that the second strike from this particular method is here it comes bang now we do the top hand see that's just ideal there you can either use a palm straight into the gallbladder three or the temple bang or if you feel like using a fist it must be a fist but it must be kicking up see how the fist is kicking up at the end it must kick up and in to the temple using these three knuckles here, not this these two big knuckles here. These last three, bang, like that. Just do it slowly at first, so here's a slow punch coming in, so you time it, there's your first step, see where I made contact, halfway between him and me, that's where I made contact. Here's a slight, as my back foot comes up, bang! And this hand's just here, you can't even put the one-two in if you wish. But this time, just bring the 
just bring the top hand in. In other words, you don't even need this hand. You keep the pung hinge because that's your basic biting method, see? That's, your, that's pung hinge there. This is pung hinge here, see? This is pung hinge. Just like that. So you can be talking to someone and be in a perfectly safe, ready position for anything to happen, you see? Just say, what's the matter, mate? You know, what's the problem? You're standing like that. Rather than making the situation worse by standing here like this or standing like this, or I know, call true. <laughs> <laughs> or I know karate <laughs> you say what's wrong you know just attack Rob what's wrong you're there already see just from that position there's your pung hinge just do it slowly see look you're there already you're there already 